Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today I am going to talk about 20 different fall decorations in the traditional English cottage style. So let's start with some things that you may have on hand, which I think lend themselves very beautifully to fall decorating. So black and white photos look great. Black and white sketches look really good. This is a time to pull out clothing that goes with the season. So I love to pull out my hunter boots and style them each year somewhere really cute. Umbrellas look really good, scarves, anything like that, even like great coats that you hang up on pegs. That can look really good and that's just a no-brainer that you, you probably have some of this on hand, right? I love old books, as you probably know. So anything in the khakis, browns, rusts, and even I'll, I'll mix in some greens a little bit sometimes, but any of those colors are really perfect for this time of year. It's really historically been the only time of year that I decorate with chocolate brown. So if you have brown pillow covers or you have grays, so I will heavily focus on my grays and browns this time of year and we'll group them all, say on my window seat or on my couch or on our bed or something. And that isn't anything that requires anything that says happy fall on it or or going to the store if you already have grays and browns on hand just put them together as a collection and you've got instant fall vibes I also think this is the perfect time to pull out copper and use those as collections so you can style those up along the mantle you can put them on shelving you can put them uh, maybe as a centerpiece so copper is perfect this time of year because it it's this like subtle, sophisticated pumpkin look. Even if you don't use copper throughout the rest of the year. And then firewood. Firewood is great for decorative purposes. Get some mileage out of that if you do use firewood. Even if you don't and you just have a few pieces for decoration, definitely pull those out this time of year and then use them all the way into spring. So all the way through Christmas and into early spring. Works wonderfully. Okay, and that leads us into what I would suggest pulling from nature. So these are my favorite flowers and different things that you may have on hand, you may have to buy them. The first one is mums. I love using white mums and I like to get mine at Costco. I think their prices are phenomenal. It's like $15 for something this big for mums. And I have heard that you can overwinter them, but I've never been successful at that. Leave me tips in the comments below if you have done it successfully. Then now's the time with the shorter days to be pulling out your lanterns and even string lights out on a deck or something, lots of candles. All of that lends to cozy fall ambiance. I love sunflowers. I grow sunflowers so that I have bouquets of them this time of year. The colors are perfect. You can find them at the grocery store. It's the time to get your sunflowers. Ornamental kale is good, and I found some really, really realistic ornamental kale at Hobby Lobby last year. So see if they still have it. And I love buying very lifelike looking botanicals that are faux, yes, but if they look real, I'm all in because they will last me for 10 years, 15 years. Oak leaves can be tucked in on coffee tables. They can, oh, I love them in chandeliers. I love them um, like along the piano. Just tuck them everywhere in where you're just focusing on fall decorating and it's just a piece of cake. That goes for other leaves too if you have those. We have oak leaves and we have maple leaves and things, but any type of fall leaves I think can look really stunning. Just cut a branch, stick it in a jar, put it in the corner of your hallway, whatever, and it's done. Lastly, and I would say most of us probably have, would have to order these things, but turkey feathers are stunning. Just put them in a vase like a bouquet of flowers, or I have tucked them in with oak leaves and a chandelier, and antlers. Collect all the antlers. These also look really great running straight in through the 
Christmas time and the winter time, you know, early, early New Year type decorating, so you can get a lot of mileage out of antlers. Now I'm going to give you a couple of ideas that you can hand sew. I know not everybody is excited about sewing, but these are just hand sewn, super simple. You can take a simple sweater like this, I got this at the thrift store, and cut off the arms. I have a tutorial for this, but um, cut it off here, and then you don't have to cut at the bottom, but you turn it into a sweater pillow and you just hand stitch it. So that's a fun little project if you aren't too scared of hand sewing. And the second one, which requires just barely any sewing, is my velvet pumpkin tutorial. And I actually used real stems. I saved them off of zucchini and some other squash that I had. I just carefully, <laughs> I waited until the actual like pulp flesh part decayed and then I cleaned it off and I used those. I just hot glued them on top of my velvet pumpkins. I filled the pumpkins with some rice and there you go. So super fun, really beautiful gift, and they can just be used year after year. So I will link that tutorial for you below. Moving on, you may have these things on hand, or you definitely could snag them at Target or thrift stores or wherever, but plaid blankets. Pull out all your yummy plaid blankets and tuck those in everywhere around the house. And then picnic baskets, that's a real classic, beautiful touch to have in the fall. I recently mentioned my new obsession with brown bottles, these amber bottles, and I love them all collected together. Just keep your eyes open for these and collect those as you go. Sometimes I'll be cooking and notice, oh my gosh, the soy sauce bottle or whatever will work, and so I'll clean that off and add that to my little amber bottle collection. And right alongside that, I would put brown transferware. wear. So those are dishes that have brown sort of sketchy artwork on them pictures those are absolutely beautiful very traditional english cottage looking so collect those or pull those out if you have them on hand and two more to go okay this is my all-time favorite fall project that i've ever done it was the gather garland and you can make this simply with cardstock and i have a tutorial for you where you can print out this exact same leaf template that i have here cut them out and then you can just glitter the letters on and you can make a garland so beautiful and use what you have on hand if you need to and last but not least are these little acorns. I actually got these, I get asked about them. I use them every year. I love sprinkling them around. You'll see them, it's like, where's Waldo? Every year you'll see these little acorns popping up in the fall in my house. I did originally get them at the dollar spot at Target. I don't know how many years ago, seven years ago. Even though you can't get them at Target right now, you can make your own. So I will link a paint that I recommend and I would just, if you have acorns, just hand paint them with a little paintbrush you're good to go. All right, I hope that totally got you excited about fall and that you have some ideas about what's around you and what maybe new eyes to see what you can use that you already have on hand, what you can make real quickly. And the clock is ticking for my Pinterest mini course. If you haven't already joined and you want to, we are about one week away and it's a $10 mini course. I go live three days in a row and I teach you how to take your pens that you're pinning on Pinterest that you love and how to actually break them down, get them organized, and translate that into your own space and make it happen. So I love that course, I love teaching it. I get great feedback on it and I hope you can join us. Otherwise, if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care, I'll talk to you soon.